really go, babe. Mm -mm. Catch and cook, Tampa Bay triple tail. Uh, the other night at dinner, I had some friends in town. They asked if we want to take the boat out in the morning and go fishing, which I'm not a great fisherman, but I said, what the hell, let's go. So I've seen some reports on Facebook, uh, a lot of triple tail being caught in Tampa Bay today, this week recently. And uh, you know, I said, let's go try to target some triple tail. So I got some shrimp early, gassed the boat up. We headed out, uh, really triple tail fishing's pretty easy. You just kind of free line some shrimp on a you know circle hook, pitch it towards anything floating and uh, you know let it sink. If you don't get a bite, move to the next floating object. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where they are because I don't want to ruin it for some guys, but you know, just pitch the floating things in Tampa Bay. If you get no bite, move on. You'll you can actually see them eating right on the surface uh, when you pull up to the floating objects, but we're gonna go ahead and do a really simple parmesan pesto crusted triple tail quick meal gonna steam some rawr microwave 90 second rice steam some broccoli put the triple tail in the oven get the panko parmesan pesto real crusty on the top it's gonna be really awesome quick simple dinner all right so we got our triple tail fillets here they are quite a nice meaty white flaky fish I just rinsed them off I'm going to pat dry and then kind of hit them with a little bit of cooking oil spray. That way I can get some scales out of here. But we're going to hit them with some cooking oil spray. That way the pesto will take to the fish fillet. And this pesto is, uh, you know, not your store-bought kind of stuff. Stephanie actually has an awesome garden on the side of the house that we built. And she grew this pesto fresh. So uh, I don't know her exact recipe, but I know there's a lot of fresh basil, cashews, uh, some olive oil throws it in the meat uh, the, excuse me not meat processor she throws it into food processor blends it up until we get this kind of creamy textured pesto-y consistency Let's get some foods. Beep, 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 beep. 